There is this dude. Okay, there is this dude, Mr. Stephen Miller. He is a former Trump advisor who has recently filed a civil rights complaint over woke breakfast foods. That claiming mean? that gay pop tarts are sexualizing kids. I don't think it's a pop tarts, bro. Yo, pop tarts. There's a gay pop tart. What is it? Like rainbow flavor or something? Yeah, dude. I Check. didn't know pop tarts had a gender or sexual what? sexual preference. Yeah. So yeah. So they're doing campaigns with you know what I mean. The is that Shaq? Community. Is that Shaq? Look, <laughs> <laughs> you're big though. Look, look how tall he is. <laughs> His level says I don't even know where to go. Because Shaq does endorsements for everything, dude. He does. That's why it would have yeah. been funny. <laughs> oh my god. That's the one endorsement Wait, he doesn't have. Does it say anywhere on the box anything about gays? So it just says just Pop Tarts artist series neon pink block party lemonade. And then oh, it's, it's a gay flag up you there. Are never alone. Okay. And then there's a pride flag up up oh. top as like a campaign thing. So it's very very pride. Um. Stop putting the gay pop tarts in my face is what they're saying. <laughs> pop tarts Damn. tweeted, "We are beyond proud to partner with Neon, powered by Glad, to create the limited edition Neon Pink Block Party Lemonade Pride Box, featuring the crazy good and crazy joyful designs of queer illustrator Thaddeus Coates." So, not Shaq, by the way. Um, That's a mouth. I know when you turned around, it was this initial thing that I thought, and I saw him, and I was like, "He's not Shaq." It's, it's <laughs> Don Campbell. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> I mean, there's all there's gay kids out there, so what's he's, the- He's- he's- he's gay. Former Trump advisor- no, See? That's why I said Don Campbell, it kind of looks like him. That's pretty good. Former Trump advisor and current white nationalist, Stephen Miller, has filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, accusing Kellogg's of targeting children through marketing campaigns that politicize and sexualize its products. Oh, yeah. Miller's right-wing nonprofit America First Legal tweeted a list of such products, including a 2022 collaboration with Glad to make pink lemonade Pop-Tarts with neon pink filling. Neon pink, obviously. It's supposed to be cut. I mean, do you think he's wrong, Nick? <laughs> Is that the catchphrase? Do you think that guy's wrong? The white nationalist dude saying that there's uh, politicizing pop tarts. Well, know? when you call him a white nationalist, I want to be on his side. No, um, <laughs> I'm just so sick of all these fucking like. Why are you complaining about this? But I get it. Does he? It's just everyone has a problem with fucking everything, dude. <laughs> it's just like preach, brother. Nick's no, it's just, it's just I hate these fucking. I kind of hate these articles a little bit just because it's like. Sorry, brother. Yeah. <laughs> It's no, Anthony's fault. This is Steve article. He's submit, honestly, submitted by Steve, honestly, the white nationalist. I lost words because this is like shit. It just, this one actually makes sense yeah. to me <laughs> because, like, all right, so <laughs> this collab, right? So, for example, Bud Light, you think trailer dude. When I think Pop Tart, here we go. I, I think, think, oh, it could be gay. I think childhood. Oh, so Pop Tarts were already gay to you. Well, the color, it's colorful, it's bi it's like yeah. flamboyant, it's sweet and in your face, you know, what like- What do you think Gus just is? That's super gay. But the difference- hey, you, know you know what's a gayer uh, 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 breakfast snack? Toaster strudel. True. Uh, uh, can't you say it in your why. German accent, please? Toaster strudel. Toaster strudel. I think I'm losing it, actually. <laughs> Every time I do it, it's worse, dude. Bud Light is not for kids. That's the difference. That that Pop Tarts is mainly for kids. That's why. Yeah. It's I mean, would you be surprised though if Fruit Loops did a collab with Sweet. the gay community? Dude, Fruit Loops pretty gay. I man. think there's something cool about. I like the the fact that any brand is willing to partner with gay artists or gay creators. But I find it pandering when they have to put flags all over it and all this like shit. Yeah, Can't yeah. he just be a good artist? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is it? Like if they partner with me, I don't want to see the fucking Filipino star on it. Like, <laughs> you should. I just do a thing. I think it's know? both sides for me. Is that and then this guy? He's right. What's the what's the formal complaint that he's doing? That it's uh, targeting kids. And then, yeah, yeah, but then yeah. where does that formal complaint go? Where does that go? To the public and to the. To us. And also, who gives a shit, too, you know? like. Well, that's what it is. I don't think it's a, I think it's just, if a company's gonna do that, I think they have to prove 
that they really fucking mean it and they're not pandering. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the one thing yeah. that I would like. Because I'm sure they're doing it for a sale. Exactly. Right. AFL also highlights Kellogg's Pride Cereal, a limited edition cereal released in October 2022, which was just rainbow heart-shaped cereal, but with all the cereal mascots on the box. The complaint also cites drag queen RuPaul's appearance on the Cheez-Its box in September, <laughs> and Tony the Tiger posing with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney at the Tony Awards in June. Quote, Kellogg's is yet another big corporation that will break the law and hurt its shareholders' interests to serve the twisted woke ideology of its officers and directors. Twisted. That's the funny thing. The difference to me is that when I grew up in the 90s as a fucking kid, I loved RuPaul because I thought RuPaul was fucking cool. But no, but it didn't mean that I was, I had a different political stance because of that. Mm. Nowadays, it's like you show RuPaul to prove a point. Back in the day, RuPaul was just dope. Yeah. I don't understand why now it has to be like a dividing line. Yeah, we all just like Mrs. Doubtfire. It wasn't making me gay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then aren't both sides kind of pandering? Because like the, the Pop-Tarts is pandering towards that community. But this guy's also pandering towards the anti-woke community That's by true. having to say this long ass complaint I about see, it. And yeah. he's trying to get all those people on board with him. I think that's fair yeah, actually, that's yeah. True. It's like yeah. they're both doing the thing that nobody wants, like nobody cares about. That's what it looks like. It looks like two sides are using extremes to fight to yeah, but, yeah. One, but you know, they want to keep it in the middle. Yeah, but like, I get it. Pop-Tarts is trying to make sales by pandering to like whatever, and this guy's trying to get yeah. attention for whatever yeah, his Well, the, thing the is. middle seat doesn't sell, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. May I add? We're too sensible here, huh? Should we take a stand? Yeah, yeah let's, we should let's take a stand. stand. <laughs> may, I, may I add? Miller stumbled across these marketing campaigns while investigating Kellogg's for having too much diversity in its ranks. <laughs> <laughs> AFL on Wednesday requested that- <laughs> Too much diversity! They requested that the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission investigate the carbohydrates producer for racial discrimination against white people, specifically white men. Whoa. AFL accused Kellogg's of promoting people, quote, based on skin color at the expense of others because of their skin color, mm -hmm. and complained that the company had special programs for underrepresented and underserved demographics such as black people and women. Mm. Damn. So this I mean, guy's this guy's taking a strong stance. In, I just yeah. like when people were recognized for what they did, and that's it. And it's yeah. like, oh, you're good at this. That's what you are. But then now it's like, oh, you climbed Everest and you're vegan. Like, who gives a fuck? You, yeah. If you climbed it, you climbed. That's cool. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? You climbed Everest. Yeah. yeah it's such a vegan it's such a weird thing that like yeah. the thing that you are takes precedence over the thing that you worked really hard to achieve. Yeah. And that's the part that I'm like, I don't I don't care about that. That's a good that's take. That's my take. <laughs> I want that take. Take taker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I take, take, take. I'll take Cam's take and Ryan's take. Those are the best takes. You know Kellogg's was a seventh day of Venice? <laughs> <laughs> it was? Yep. What happened? Like Kellogg's it. is a seventh day of Venice. Whoa. He made that Kellogg's cereal thingy. Cool. But, but you know what? You know what also is another point too is that like, you remember like as an Asian, if you start achieving things, then Asian coalitions come after you and they go, oh, come to our event and then show everyone why being Asian is so great. So I can assume too that if you're an artist and you're gay, then the gay community will want you to champion yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of pressure, I'm sure too. Yeah. yeah. Damn, why does it gotta be about that though? It's like, just make it about the art or like about- I think cause yeah. people, um, identify with their tribe much more quicker than anything so then like when they see an achievement they see themselves achieving so if you're like being seen you know how they say that oh i feel seen and shit yeah it's like that's that's not you that's like an asian guy you don't even know this guy so you're saying it's like a more primal thing like a more primal a thousand percent and I think yeah. that's why it works with marketing because um, if it's like the hot topic right now and you're like, oh, I'm one of the companies that'll do this. And if you're putting like pride flags on a cup and you can sell that easily mm -hmm. to a built-in demographic, that's it's true. kind of like, hey, I know a lot of girls that like Hello Kitty. If I get the same exact cup, put a Hello, cool little Hello Kitty sticker and get that license in, mm -hmm. I can sell that for like extra. Dude, yeah. what? So it's all it's all business. Marketing, yeah. Yeah. You know what would be funny is is like let's say they did that to like make Asian pop tarts and they put a fucking rice hat in the fucking thing like that's the same that's probably what it feels yeah. like you know Dang. like yeah. it's that oh, yeah. it's super corny. Ooh, black sesame pop tarts. <laughs> but then another With the thing rice that hat pandas on the side. The fuck <laughs> out of that, it's also yo. pretty understandable that while they are doing marketing and it, while it might seem corny, some uh, I guess like some groups 
are willing to ride that still mm. yep. because they're they feel oppressed. So it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. even though this isn't ideal, it's something. Yeah, yeah, it's because it's a whole spectrum of different thinking yeah. people. And also, too, like if these companies didn't make massive amounts of money by doing these campaigns, they probably wouldn't do it. It would die of out. Course, you see every, you true. see every single, the times, yeah. yeah, they everyone's doing it because I'm sure. It's funny how they like fight over all this shit, but they don't even talk about the ingredients and harmful chemicals that are in all the foods that are yeah. fucking everybody up. But we could talk about the woke. Yeah, let's or look the over anti, here. Look know? over here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's yeah. let's fight over yeah. shit that yeah. doesn't do anything. It's happening here. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like we're moving farther away from things being coincidentally tolerable, which is when I think real tolerance kicks in. When you didn't know that something was this, but you already liked it. Mm. Where it's like, oh, I like this food. What is it? Oh, it's from- It's, it's gay food. It's gay guy food, yeah. <laughs> oh, no way, it's I fucking love gay, gay guy man, food. man, you know? Yeah. But now like... it's like, it's the other order where it's like, hey, this is gay food, so you can't not like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like kind of strange. It's like, yeah. you might've liked it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know? there's a stance and a belief and an identity. It might've already been cool. Like, like when you meet a person that's like, let's say you like know a nice Filipino person, you automatically just like all Filipinos more. If you got fucked up by a Filipino, got bullied by one, you probably don't like them. And it's, it's just all the, racism. Uh, it's all like, you know, the just tolerance just yeah. happens. But then if we beat you to the experience and tell you, hey, you just have to like Filipinos, you're gonna be predisposed to not. Right, right. And that's because you're being forced to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't make your own judgments. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. I don't yes. really like Filipinos most. Hey, I'm working on you. <laughs> I mean, when was the last time you had a Pop Tart? Oh, oh shit. Filipino. <laughs> last yeah. night. Last oh. night, dude.